The first thing that prevents self-loathing is being full of love. How can we be full of love? Shall I go to people to ask them to love me? No. David said in Psalm 27, My father and my mother forsake me. Then the Lord will take care of me. He could have said, My father and my mother forsake me. I hate them and I hate everything. But he said, Then the Lord will take care of me. Whoever replaced his parents with God doesn't have a problem with them because he found a replacement. Why didn't Joseph hate his siblings? The Lord was with him, it says in Genesis 39. He felt God with him. He was happy with him. Don't go to beg people for love. Forgive your parents who made mistakes. Be full with God to heal. You'll be like the Samaritan woman who saw life beautifully and went with joy. Joseph said in Genesis 50, You meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. So if your father made mistakes in his parenting, say, My father did wrong toward me, but God meant it for good. I became stronger. I hold on to God more. I can encourage people because I know how it feels not to be encouraged. Even with bad experiences, God meant them for good. I know people who faced very hard situations and then dedicated their lives to serve those who go through the same situations and abuse. They are so successful in their services because they have a mission. Joseph could be successful with prisoners because he was one of them. Jesus asked Peter, Do you love me? Peter couldn't answer any questions other than this one. If Jesus asked him why he did this, he would have stared at the ground, unable to answer. If Jesus had asked Peter, Do you do this after three years living with me? Peter would have jumped in the water and never come out. If he asked him if he would still like to serve, he could have said no. But he asked this simple question, which he could answer. Jesus forgave everything. Peter loved him, so he asked him to be confident and go serve. What about his sin? What about his history? It's not important. So the first point is to be full of God. This can happen by the Bible, solitude, the divine liturgy, or praise. Philippians 4.19 And my God shall supp supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. When you feel upset, please don't blame others. You are upset because you are not full of God. The solution isn't for people to show you empathy. People don't. If they did once, they won't do it forever. Don't wait and beg. Focus on God. He will never tell you, I'm busy. When you go to receive something from Him, He won't tell you, I already gave you so much. Impossible. People say stuff like that, even good people, but not God. You may go to your spiritual father when you are tired, and he may say, didn't you come last week? You may feel bad about that. He is not the one. He is just a messenger from God, but he is a human. In the end, he's just a human. His time is limited. His energy is limited. His heart is limited. But God's heart is limitless. Don't expect too much from people, no matter who they are. Your father of confession might be available today and tomorrow unavailable. If he's the one who is filling you up with love, then what will you do when he's not there?